Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that help me read faster. And it doesn't matter whether English is your first language, uh, second or third, I'm gonna give you very practical tips uh, that will help you read in any language. And uh, I started reading four to five books a month. Sometimes I go uh, beyond that number and I know that there are people who read like 10 books a month. There are so many amazing books coming out. I read books on marketing, management, health, and uh, you don't wanna miss that information. So. The thing you can do right now is improve your reading speed and I'm gonna teach you how. So today I'm gonna teach you to read faster. The first step you have to take and the first step that I've taken is actually separating formats. What I mean by that, there are three general formats of books that uh, we have. There are hard copies, right there, that's a hard copy. There's an audiobook and there's an electronic book. So for audiobooks, I try to stick to fiction because I don't really write things down uh, when I'm listening to stories. And I can actually do another thing while listening to an audiobook, like uh, I can clean my room, I can do my makeup, I can do my nails, I can cook. That's multitasking. Because I'm just listening to a story, I'm not necessarily writing a to-do list, like, because when I'm reading practical books, like books on marketing, books on management. I really need to read because I would highlight some paragraphs. I would send something that comes to my mind to my husband or to my team, like, hey, we need to do this, this and that. So I would say audiobooks for stories, audio stories, so you can be more relaxed than electronic books for learning. So you can highlight things. Highlighter. And okay, hard copy books, I don't really do them anymore because uh, I like to declutter my space. I don't like when extra things appear uh, in my room, but I would use hard copy books for poolside or like for relaxing. It's just another experience because if you highlight things in those books, you just sometimes lose that information. So really, I would recommend sticking to these two formats. <sighs> Hard copy. Now let's go to reading faster. On average, a person would read 150 to 200 words per minute. And this is very, very, very slow reading. Slow? This can actually be compared to the pace of speaking. You can read so much faster. You can go above 300 words per minute and this is considered faster reading. There is by the way a test available to check your uh, reading speed. I will leave a link below so if you're not sure where you are at and you're probably not, take that test and see where you are. But people can go to as fast as 600 words a minute, 700 words a minute and yes that's doable. I can read over 3,000 words a minute. Why does this happen? Because most of us think that reading is actually speaking in your head. So a lot of people actually say words that they're reading in their heads and this slows them down completely. You need to start on working on visual reading instead of saying words in your head. Uh, so get rid of this subvocalization. I'm writing this term down just for you to make sure that you understand me completely. Subvocalization, ways to get rid of it. Count words. If you can count. <coughs> And by the way, I'm gonna do this. We don't need this at all. What do I mean by counting words in your head? So you're reading something and in your head you go like, this was word number one, number two, number three. So you are trying to distract your brain with something else. So instead of your brain trying to pronounce everything that you're reading, you're actually telling your brain, hey, do the word count and I will just read. Because Two things at a time is, I think, the maximum a brain can do. You stop saying things in your head um, and you actually start to do the visual reading, uh, like getting the meaning of the words just by seeing them. You should be able to see the words, Mr. 3000. Another thing you can do is use a rhythm. Get in rhythm. And what I mean by that, for example, you want to read at this pace? The method that you use for reading should depend on your goals, education, relaxing, learning new words. And if I speed myself up, a method you're going to read for should depend on your goals, relaxing, reading, learning your words. This is what you can do. So just create a rhythm for yourself and follow it. Again, helps a lot to speed up your reading. Here we go guys, find the rhythm. 
The third thing you can do to get rid of subvocalization is listen to music. Instrumental classical music is the best because again it has the pace and it acts as distraction for your brain. Nice distraction. Guide yourself. By guiding yourself while reading, I actually mean using your hand or a pen to go through whatever you have to read. Self-vocalization, count words, use a rhythm, listen to music, guide yourself. The faster you move, the faster your brain starts to read. Um, so just again, create a pace for yourself that's a little above your comfort zone, uh, that makes you read a little faster. Just guide yourself with your hand. That's why I'm gonna read these lines I wrote myself with my own two hands. Please start practicing these techniques the next time you're gonna be reading. Find the one that's comfortable for you. Find the one that makes you uh, read faster. If these are not enough, uh, there are also several things you could do. One of them is uh, go to Skillshare. There is an amazing course called Read Better and Faster uh, in just seven days. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can get free access to that platform by clicking a link below and you're gonna uh, get two months access for free. Uh, by the way, there is another course that I would recommend taking on Skillshare. It's called Productivity Masterclass, creating a custom system that works. Because apart from uh, reading faster, you would actually need to find time for being productive and reading more books. And uh, when you start reading more books, you start getting more information. It's like communicating with more and more people. So I would really advise you to find time uh, for reading different books. And this Masterclass by Thomas Frank uh, is gonna actually help you find that time and Skillshare in general is uh, an amazing place to find online classes and there are thousands of other classes covering dozens of creating and entrepreneurial skills uh, premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and uh, if you think of affordability uh, don't forget that you're getting two months for free uh, using my link below and also if later on you decide to get an annual membership you're gonna end up paying $10 a month for full access to all of the classes and if we compare it to like private tutoring or even taking an online class uh, at a university you are saving a lot of money so again two courses that I recommend there first is this reading faster course and the second one is the productivity class now let's go back to tips that work for me and uh, I mentioned productivity class um, and uh, before reading any book I want to create a set of tasks for for myself to stay productive while reading this book because it's very easy and uh, comment down below if you have this problem it's very easy to buy a lot of books and you're like oh I'm gonna read this this and this and then you start reading every book and uh, you never finish and you never even get to the middle of the book this is why whenever I start a new book I write down my goal or I just um, you know think about it like my goal after reading this management book is to create an instruction for my new personal assistant on how to work with my email for example so it has to be a very specific goal not just learn new things about marketing no actually you have to be very specific and uh, your goals have to be actionable which means that you can act upon them right after reading the book the second skills what skills am I trying to learn after reading this book? Again, if it's a management book, I'm trying to learn how to write the right instructions. I'm trying to learn how to create a resume or I'm trying to learn how to create a job posting so that I find the right people. Time for this book. Now, this is super important. Again, what happens? You start reading a book and then in a year you realize uh, you've only read 10 pages. Uh, so I tell myself, okay, uh, we need to finish by November. That's it. And in order to be more specific about this, you can set up the number of pages that you read per day. For example, you tell yourself, okay, every day I read 20 pages of this book. In order to make yourself more accountable for what you're doing, uh, you can post on your social media like, hey, I love to share my plans for the day on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed, it's Lingo Marina. I love to share my plans because I feel responsible for what I'm actually sharing. I would be like, oh, I told my followers that I'm gonna read 20 uh, pages of this book today and I haven't. Um, so I just need to go back to this and really accomplish it because I promised thousands of people or even if you promise to like 60 of your followers, uh, that's already some accountability, so try that. Then I promised them I'm reading this book, so I gotta go. Bye! 
And uh, it's okay, by the way, to read several books at a time. Have you ever read four books at a time? So it's not like you have to read just one book at a time and uh, start another one once you finish. It's totally okay. The only thing that, again, really helps me is um, selecting the books on the similar topic. So if I'm reading a management book, like, I don't know, how to manage a company, another book that I will be reading is like a story of a company that's grown very fast. Uh, and uh, I can listen to an audio book because I don't have to write things down, but I would just, you know, listen how they apply different methods. So they are similar, but they're different genres, so that helps a lot. You're really mixing genres. Okay, so once you've become all productive and you set your goals, some more tips. Number five, don't read word by word. You don't actually need that. Your brain is totally fine with understanding just a few words from a sentence and figuring out the meaning from them. This is particularly important for anyone who's trying to read in English and uh, for whom English is not their first language uh, because sometimes we try to translate every single word and this is totally wrong. You don't have to do that. You only need to translate words that affect the meaning in general. What I translate as well is that if there is a word that I've seen for 10 times in this book already and I still don't know what it means, I would translate it just to be sure that um, I'm using this word in my own speech as well since native speakers are using that uh, word so much. Just a fun fact for you, uh, if you're reading like a scientific book, you can decrease the number of words by 2.5 times without losing its meaning. If you're reading a fiction book, you can decrease the number of words by three or four times without losing its meaning, which means that you can skip words uh, to still get what the author wanted to tell you. Another thing that might help psychologically, sometimes you think that if you read your book back to back, you're gonna understand its meaning. In reality, you can read the book five or six times and still not get its meaning. So it's not about how many words you read, it's about how concentrated you are. It's about how familiar you are with the topic. Because again, you can decrease the number of words in a book without losing its meaning. I think he could have said what he has to say with a lot less. Six. I just mentioned it. Focus. When reading like an electronic book or a hard copy book, it's actually really important to focus. How do you know if you're focused enough? When you are reading something and your brain is still analyzing the previous paragraph, that tells you that you're not focused enough. That tells you that you're distracted, that your brain still hasn't digested information it has just received and uh, it's somewhere else. So at this point of time, I would ask you to stop reading, maybe get some tea, uh, get more comfortable wherever you are, because it's very important to feel comfortable while reading. You know, if you don't have to think about changing your position or drinking or whatever, you tend to stay more focused and your speed naturally increases. And by the way, uh, reading is a great, great way to get rid of your stress. Just make this process enjoyable. Just uh, relax and uh, help your brain dig deeper into the content of the book. Another tip, make a movie in your head. I do this all the time. Make a movie in your head means create visual images of whatever is going on in the book. Create a visual image of everyone who's in the book, uh, of uh, main character's apartment, of things uh, they're doing for the company, so whatever you're reading about. Visual images help a lot, especially for people like me who love videos. I love videos and if you're watching YouTube, I guess you love videos too. And visualization is a great tool uh, to speed up your reading process because when you read the character's name you already have all those visual images in your head and it helps you digest information faster creative visualization next thing read reviews beforehand those could be reviews or like a very short version of a book because this way you're gonna know what you're looking for. Uh, you're gonna know what people loved about this book. You're gonna know what to look for in this book because maybe they would tell you like, for example, you're looking for a uh, perfect resume or whatever and uh, in reviews you'll be like, oh, this guy is sharing the perfect resume samples in chapter four and five and it was so useful. 
And you know exactly that when you're gonna read this book, you're gonna be extra careful with the chapter four and five because this is what you're looking for. So go to different resources, read those reviews. It's gonna help structure uh, your brain and uh, prepare it for all the upcoming information. That was it from me guys for today. Uh, let's just conclude. Uh, I wanted to highlight something. So uh, no matter what speed you're at, I want you to get to the speed of 800 words per minute. This is the best speed for reading five to six books a month. Another thing that I wanted to highlight once again, <laughs> use your pen to guide you. This is one of the most practical skills that worked for me, like guiding yourself through reading. The last but not the least, uh, something to pay attention to. Uh, pay attention to where your eyes are looking at uh, when you're reading. So ideally, they have to be focused on the middle of the page. So don't go from the first word to the last word of the paragraph. Uh, mostly focus on what's uh, in the middle area of the page. This way, you're just making sure that you're not reading every single word, uh, that you're just scanning and digesting the most important words uh, to understand the meaning. Again, this might sound very complicated. I want you to start practicing. I want you to write things down in your own exercise books or whatever so you have them. And uh, I want you to take those classes that I mentioned, the productivity and the reading class. Again, the links are below. Two months for free with uh, Skillshare just because you watched this video, guys, you're amazing. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like this content, uh, like this video. I hope this was useful and I hope you're gonna use it and I will see you very soon in my next videos. Bye-bye.